Yeah, I know someone who did development for them for a whole time. Oh, I'm letting out secrets. Oh, oh really? I will you. email it to you later. It's the Radio X. Could I make this today, the apple pie? So could you make it today? Of course yeah. you could, yeah. That looks Lovely. beautiful. I mean, you've got, what time do you get off air? 10 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I mean, but, you, ain't, no, you ain't going to bed until what? 10, no, but 30, I won't, 11 o'clock at night? I finished I, the show for this at 10, but I won't be home till sometimes it's 10 past, quarter past 10, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you've got at least 12 hours to make an apple pie, mate. Now, do I have to make the the stuff myself, or do I buy that bit, like the pastry bit? You could buy the pastry bit, Chris. No one's going to know. Because like, Jamie O always goes, oh, just buy it. Yeah, I mean, you can just buy it. Like, it's not... I love Is that because he's lazy? You no, saying Jamie no, no, no. Oliver is You saying Jamie Oliver is a lazy pig? No, Jamie's, <laughs> actually, Jamie's the last person that's lazy. He doesn't like work, he, does he, Jamie? He's the busiest man I know. Like, he's so busy. He's Like, he, the only person that's compare, comparable to his busyness is Gordon. Like, between the two of them, they have a busy off. Like, a, who's the busiest? Uh, who he's? Do you think Gordon Ramsay is the luckiest chef? On mm. earth, because he's he's done well. You can't deny that. Mm. With very little, you know what I mean. No, Gordon. He, no, 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 no. Not on, bad no. word against Gordon's a, a magician. Gordon was one of the first British chefs to win three Michelin stars, irrespective of what you think. Net, like that, he backs out. He's inc- He's so hardworking. He's a phenomenal cook. He's br- He is just like one of the greatest. Like genuinely. And I know there's this TV persona, and there's a, like he is. Ge- you've had him in here. He's like a superhuman, isn't he? He comes yeah. in. There's an aura of yes. something. Yes. He's a very, very special. Very man. nervous and uh, full it. of self doubt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's big and mild. He needs more confidence, doesn't he? (laughs) Who is the better chef between yourself, Ronald McDonald and Burger King? Where would you place yourself Mm. in the... That trilogy. So I t- in terms of like, I'm a little bit more artisan. I mm. probably do a, a, a better burger, but I take a lot longer to do it. And then in terms of, I, I think probably, I, I think glo- I think Ronald McDonald has probably taken over. Like he's global superstar, mm. isn't he? I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's so been- would you go Ronald yourself and the Burger King? Yeah, I, I think that's what I probably do. I think Ronald, you got to look at for global mm. empire. Yeah. Us in the middle for being, you know, the tastiest burger. Yeah, yeah. Burger King underneath, just because they're not quite as good at McDonald's and they no, don't taste as good as right. ours. So you know, have they're you third. have you ever met Colonel Saunders? No, never. Right. But I have stolen his recipe. Okay, oh, fair yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have got the secret blend. No, of you don't. I do. Yeah, I have got it. Yeah, yeah. You? yeah, I have got it. Yeah, I know someone who did development for them for a whole time. Oh, I'm letting out secrets. Oh, You're really? Yeah. I will email it to you later. <laughs> Is the bus? I mean, you can because I'm never going to do anything with it. I'm no, about, no, you're I'm talking about, about you're talking about making <laughs> buying pastry from the supermarket on the way home to do, make an apple pie in twelve hours. There's no way you're going to make <laughs> Colonel Sanders' recipe, is there? Radio X.